Hey guys, Tony here. I'd like to read you something. Something that really uplifted me. It made me smile. And I won't lie. It damn near brought me to tears. Listen closely. It's, o it's over here, so I, got I gotta read it. So, uh, okay, here we go. So it says... Dear BCG, I've been following your YouTube channel since my last year of middle school. We spoke once before on Instagram while I was under a previous account before I was hacked. And I just wanted to say thank you for the work and content you have put out on YouTube. Not just that, but also for the life insight you shared. I'm 22, finishing a gap year. That's that's a year where you don't go to school at all. So she, she just finished a gap year. Now she's going to go back to school. I'm finishing a gap year after leaving my previous college. And I'm taking a leap of faith in trying something new for me. My new path of choice is education. And I thought of you and your journey as I came to this decision. Thank you, Tony, for the influence and courage you gave through your videos. Peace. I got that message yesterday while I was at my second job, which, uh, fun fact, I wasn't supposed to work yesterday. They called me because, you know, you don't need to know the minutia of those things. But I just thought I mentioned that I wasn't supposed to be at work yesterday. But still... I got that message yesterday and it really touched me. And it reminded me of a couple of things in my past. It reminded me of three things in particular. The first thing it reminded me is of that video I made like four years ago, I think, during the pandemic where it says, I'm proud of my legacy. That's why the title of this video is going to be, I'm still proud of my legacy. Because if I could get messages like this, how can I not be proud of my legacy? How can I not be proud of the impact and influence I've had on people? The second video that came to mind after reading this comment was my video where I was talking about quitting my job, which I think is what she was referring to about life choices or what would she say? Life insight. She mentioned life insight. Now, I've, I've made many videos sharing my insight on life, but if there's one video I know for a fact I made that was very impactful, that could be impactful on somebody's life, it's the video where I talked about quitting my job. And how hard it was. How it was a hard decision. And how I was jumping into education. That's why when she even mentioned education, it was a big deal. So it made me think of that video and how despite the length and despite the topic, the video was still very impactful. And it might have been the exact things this person needed to hear. And that really touched me. <laughs> It really did. The The second thing it reminded me of was a long, long time ago. I, I thought of a review I haven't even thought of. In it, It's been nine years since I've made this review, or almost nine years. I did a review on a movie, a, a highly underrated movie, disaster movie called Everest. And when I made that review, the daughter of the, char the main character of the movie... Uh, I, oh, the name's escaping me. It's like Air, Arnold Hall or something. That's their last name. The last name of the main character of the film was Hall. Her last name was Arnold Hall. But I remember, like a week after I made that review, she personally messaged me. He's like, hey, I'm the daughter of the guy that the movie Everest is based on. And I wanted to thank you. Because everybody was like putting down the movie about my father and saying that it was boring and cliche and blah, blah, blah. You were the first reviewer I saw that actually 
understood what the movie was trying to do and how they were trying to represent these people not as caricatures but as people and that was one of my proudest moments on youtube not the one million views and i could give a fuck about the one million view video that was that was such a easy video to make might not have been easy to get the million views but it was so easy to make but a video like that where literally the daughter of the person that the movie is based on messaged me and said how much they appreciated my review. That's amazing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't replace that for all the subscribers in the world because that you can't buy a response like that. You can't. It has to be genuine. And she meant that honestly. Now, some people have told me in the past, like, what if that wasn't really her? So I, I went back to the comment, right? And I actually found her on Facebook because she saw the message I posted. It was her. She's even verified on Facebook. So it wasn't a scam. It wasn't somebody pretending to be the, the person. It was her. And she gave her genuine, honest opinion about my review. And I never forgot about it. I haven't thought about the review, but I've never th forgot about that comment. It's one of the, again, one of the greatest achievements I've ever had on YouTube. But to, to get to the point of this video, I'm sorry that I've been rambling and stuff, but what I was trying to get to is that after reading a comment like that, I'm reminded again why I made that video about being proud of my legacy, of being proud of the impact that I've had in my, my time here on YouTube. I get it. I've made a lot of cringy videos. I've made a lot of videos that many of you do not agree with. Some of you have unsubscribed because of it. And some of you might even think differently of me because of certain opinions I've had or videos I've made. And you're well within your right to have those opinions. Part of growing up, guys, part of maturing, is realizing that you're not going to convince everybody that you're not an asshole. You're not going to be able to convince everybody that you're a good person. You're not going to be able to convince everybody to like you. To convince the world to like you is, is a Herculean task I would not wish upon anybody. Because like I was telling my girlfriend a couple days ago, or no, I told her this yesterday. You, you can't convince the world to love you. It's impossible. You will have those that will follow you to the ends of the earth. There are those that will always scorn you. And there are those who are always going to find you annoying. The, the goal, the, the thing you need to do is learn to live with that notion and progress forward no matter what. And that's what I've done. I've matured to the fact where, you know... A snide YouTube comment or a remark or videos calling me certain things don't truly bother me. Now I see them and they, they would get to me at a certain point. But at the, at the end of the day, it's a person's opinion of me and they're free to have that opinion. Right or wrong. And I I personally feel, and I'm biased, of course, I personally feel that they're wrong, but they're free to have that opinion. And... The fact that this, this girl reached out to me and was saying that, you know, she found inspiration through my, through my videos, most of which are not meant to be very inspiring. They're just meant to be entertaining. I can't, I can't help but be touched by that. How could I not be touched by something like that? I mean, you really, like, impacted somebody's life, you know? Oh, God. I'm going to start crying. I'm sorry. Shoot. Why am I crying? I'm not supposed to be crying. <laughs> You're supposed to be crying. <laughs> what the hell? But to, to impact somebody's life like that in such a positive way, how could I not be proud of my legacy? How could I not be proud of my impact on this world, on YouTube, on this person's life? 
And she's not the only person that, that's messaged me like this. I've had a couple of messages like this. Maybe not as frequently as before. Maybe not as profound as this. But I definitely had people that said, you changed my life. You, you brought joy to my life. You, you were there for me in a, in a very hard time in my life. Like I just needed to get away from it all. And your videos brought me joy. Never neglect those comments. To, to any aspiring YouTuber or small YouTuber or content creator. I mean, you don't even need to be on YouTube. You can be on Twitch, Instagram. You could be on a TikTok. If you get people that tell you how in, how your videos have positively impacted them, whether it's because you were just being silly and you were there at the right moment just to cheer them up, or maybe you said something very insightful, never neglect that. Always appreciate that. You're not always going to get something like that. And you should really take the time to really embrace the fact that in your short time on this earth, for the stupid things that you do, there was at least one person that you influenced in a positive way. It kind of reminds me of the ending to Wreck-It Ralph, which is actually one of my favorite endings not just to a Disney movie, but to a movie in general, where he embraces the fact that he has to be this villain. He's not a bad person, obviously, because he's just playing the role of a villain, but he's come to terms with the fact that he will never be the hero. He'll never be the good guy. He's the villain. But he can live with that. Because, and as he's looking over the screen to Candy Crush, he says the phrase like, if that little girl can see me as a hero or look up to me or you know something something kind like if she can you know smile at me and be happy to see me how bad can i be and the point of that was is if at least one person likes me if at least i changed one person's life if i did something for one person that's not such a bad thing I've done an amazing job. And that's how I feel. I feel like in the short time that I've been on this earth, 31 years, and countless of YouTube videos, live streams, live chats, Facebook rants, YouTube rants, cringy things, the fact that I still can impact people's lives. I have not made a legit honest to God, Black Critic Guy review in many years. And the fact that I can still impact somebody's life on this channel, doing the videos that I do, that's not such a bad thing. That's one of the reasons why I never stopped making YouTube videos. I know the quality has not really lived up to it. You know, life just kind of catches up with you sometimes. But that's why I never stray away from this. YouTube is a part of me. It'll never escape me. It's been such an integral part of my life. It has opened so many doors, introduced me to so many great people that I wish I still talked to. I'll be honest, I haven't really talked to a lot of my YouTube friends. I mean, we, we have all gone our separate ways doing our separate things in life. But, you know, the memories that I've had with them have never escaped me. I still remember all of them, all of them. But the doors that YouTube has opened for me, the opportunities, I would not be in a position in my life right now, believe it or not, if it wasn't for YouTube. My hosting gig for... Kai Productions wouldn't have happened if it was for, wasn't for YouTube. My teaching job would have not happened if it had not been for YouTube. Me being back on Guam would not have happened if it wasn't for YouTube. How could I throw away something that has been so impactful in my life, so important, so integral? YouTube is a part of me. And I'll never truly escape it, which is never a bad thing. 
because I love YouTube. It's changed. Whether it's for the better or for the worse, that's up to you to decide. But it's changed. But it'll always remain a part of me. And I just want to take this time. I'm going to wrap this up because it's like 15 minutes long. I'm sorry. I just want to take this time to thank the person, the young lady that messaged me. Thank you so much for those kind words. We've we've already been talking because I told her that if she needed any help, you know, if she's going into the education field, I'd love to help her out. Obviously, I would like to be a mentor for her. But I want to take this time to thank her again. I want to thank every person that has ever been inspired or influenced or impacted by me in a positive way. And I hope that whatever you try to achieve in life, you do it in flying colors and that you can impact the next generation. I hope that my impact, my influence can make you impact and influence somebody of your own. Change someone else's life in a good way. I truly am still proud of my legacy. I'm proud of it every single day. So I'll keep making these videos for as bad or boring or long as they are. And I will hopefully try to keep influencing people in a positive way and impacting their lives on a somewhat daily basis. Till then, I'll see you all soon. Peace, YouTube.